Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply together a couple of integers. Now, before we get too busy multiplying these guys, there are a few things we want to remember, especially about their sign. Okay? So here's the rules. If you have two integers that are the same sign, so maybe they're both positive, or maybe they're both negative, when you multiply them together in these situations, you will get a positive number. If you multiply together two integers that are different signs, you will get a negative number. All right, so that's basically the rule. Let's see how it plays out in our calculations. Okay, so in my first example, I have 15 times 4. So notice how they are both positive. This means my answer will also be positive. So the way I handle this is I take 15 times 4, and I get my answer of 60, and then I double check to make sure that my sign is correct. So I said positive times a positive is positive, and sure enough, positive 60 is my answer. Looks good. All right, let's try the next one. Here I have a negative 7 multiplied by a negative 5. The first thing I'm going to do is multiply 7 and 5 together. This will give me a 35. Now go back and double check that the signs are okay. So when I multiply a negative times a negative, what happens? Well, let's see, according to my rule, negative times negative should equal a positive number. So I'm going to leave this as a positive 35. All right, things are looking great. Let's do the last one. Here we are going to take a positive 3 multiplied by a negative 6. So first, imagine 3 times 6, 18. And again, go back and double check the sign. So here I have a positive times a negative. Well, according to my rule, when I take a positive times a negative, I should get a negative answer. So let's go back and fix our answer and go ahead and make it negative. Therefore, when 3 is multiplied by negative 6, I get an answer of negative 18. And just like that, you can multiply integers as long as you remember the rules. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.